All right, in this video, I want to show you how to create a really beautiful title opener right here in Premiere Pro. Hey, what's going on, internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel if you're new here. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing great today. So without wasting more time, we're going to jump into our tutorial and we're going to get started. All right, so we're breaking this tutorial down in three parts. First of all, we got to design everything here, the layout and the titles. The second part, we got to animate the titles. And then the third part where you need to animate the background to create some contrast. So we'll come over here to our new sequence. All we have in here is just a simple video clip. So to create a title, we'll grab the title tool here in our toolbar and you click inside of your program window and we'll type out our first main title. And I'll come over here to our effects controls and I'm using the typeface in Montserrat, probably butchered that name. And I'm going to come here to the font style and make this black and then, you know, create this nice and thick. So our first main title is nice and large and it shares the importance of our first word here. All right. And then I typed out a smaller subtitle here, which can be a few words or a sentence. And I'm using a lighter font style, the same typeface, but a light font and nice and small. And you see, we created that contrast. And the one thing you want to be thinking about when you're working with main titles and subtitles is the contrast between the two titles. So you see my main title is thicker while my subtitle is nice and thin and small, creating that nice contrast between the two titles. So now we want to go ahead and design some graphics. So I'll bring both of our title layers up because I wanted those graphics be below our titles and the uh, timeline. So what we're going to do to create these lines, what we're going to do is come over here to our project window and where it says the new item here at the bottom, click on that icon and we'll click on color matte and click OK. You can set this to any color that you want and go ahead and when you have that created, bring that into your timeline. All right, so what we're going to do here, instead of adjusting the motion here on the color mat, we're going to come here to the effects window and you go to video effects, go to distort and we'll grab the transform effect or you can just type transform in there. And here's our transform effect. What we want to do is uncheck uniform scale and we'll come here to the height and we can bring this line down to like four. And we'll come here to the scale width and we can bring this down just to kind of fit nicely in our title and we can just readjust where this is at. Now we want to go ahead and animate this line. So we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline and we'll add a keyframe for scale width and we'll bring that keyframe forward by, I don't know, a second, second and a half or a little less. And we'll set our scale width down to zero. And what we're gonna do is right click our last keyframe, click on ease in, right click our first keyframe and click ease out. All right, so then you'll have this animation. That looks good, but we're using the transform effect for a reason and that's for the uh, motion blur. So we'll uncheck use composition shutter angle and set the shutter angle to 180. All right, and this will create a very nice motion blur. Now, what's gonna happen here is kinda, kinda glitch out. So what we wanna do is come into our timeline and trim up our color map by one frame. That way, boom, it's just like normal. All right, looking good. But before we change the colors here, what I want to do is take our color mat and duplicate it. So what I'm going to do is hold down Alt on my keyboard, click our color mat and drag it down. And that will create a duplicate. So I'll grab the bottom color mat and I'll come here to the Y position. I could bring this down and I'll come here to the last keyframe and I'll make this a little bit thinner and I'll come here to the scale height and set this to 0.2. And that'll create a very nice subtle line and then i'll offset this layer in time so they don't come in at the same exact time so that'll look nice all right so now i want to work on the colors here uh so i'm going to grab our thick color map the line and i'm going to come here to our effects window and i'm going to come here to generate and grab the ramp effect and i'm going to apply the ramp effect above the transform effect okay and we'll come here to start of color and we can change our color so i'll create like a nice little gradient here so i'll select one color group make a lighter color and a darker color and I'll come here to start a ramp and I'll move this over to the left and then I'll grab the end of ramp and I'll move this over to the right and that looks good. So now we'll have our nice color effect in here and then also want to grab our main title and grab the ramp effect again and just apply that to there and I'm going to swap the colors make sure that the top color is a white color and grab the bottom color and make sure that's a black color. And what I wanna do is come here to start a ramp and I'll bring this down. So the top part of our title will be a little bit more white. And then when you're happy with your color, what we can do is type in drop shadow and bring that effect into our main title. And we'll come here to the direction, set this to 180 degrees. We can increase the opacity up to 80% and then increase the softness up by a touch. And that'll just create a nice little, you know, bottom shadow there on our line. I think that looks good. You know, maybe we'll increase this to actually 23 for the softness 
and that looks good. And before we move further into our tutorial, I wanna give a huge shout out to our 100 title pack for Premiere Pro and After Effects. All right, so this is our 100 titles here inside of the Essential Graphics in Premiere Pro. We have over 100 detailed designs here of our titles. And when we find a title that we want, we can bring it into our timeline. And now we can easily edit a handful of parameters. So we can change out our titles. And if you don't want any specific titles, you can just click on a checkbox and you can turn them off and it will not affect the animation whatsoever. It'll seem fluid just like so. And we keep those on if we want. We can easily change our colors very simply and you can hide other graphics here so for example i can turn off these brackets if i don't want them there and i can easily update our box size to fit a wide variety of different styles and once again that updates with our entire animation as if it was designed like that and being able to change your graphics means you're able to update your template for the size of your title and then usually our titles have several other parameters so like we can skew our title to create a very unique design and as always our title design always stays intact and even though there's hundreds of other titles in this pack you can adjust each title to have tons of different variations making this hundred title pack well over into the three to four hundred title pack which allows you to keep consistency and branding among your videos by using the same title design so if you're looking to produce awesome work and save a tremendous amount of time while editing in premiere pro or even editing in after effects you can take a look at our hundred title pack off our website if you do pick up anything from our site you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much all right so i think now the design is good to go we already did some animation but now i want to be able to animate the titles and animating titles is really easy so first of all what we want to do is we want to go ahead and go back to our project window and bring in a color mat again okay so we're going to hide our title animations so what we're what we're going to do is grab our color mat grab our position here and we're just going to bring this you know to where we want the title to be revealed on so i want our main title to come up from the main line here so go ahead and just bring this color mat to touch that line and you'll see what i'm doing in a second if you don't completely understand yet and what we're going to do is grab our opener layer again go to the effects tab and this time what we're going to do is type in track matte key and we'll bring this effect in here and we'll set our matte to video layer six, which is that color mat we just brought in. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a keyframe for position. We'll move that keyframe forward in time. And now what we can do is bring down the Y position and now we'll have an invisible cut. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna have this. And that's fine, but we'll go ahead and offset our main title in time. And we'll bring in our endpoint for our color map to match up our main title. So now we have this nice invisible cut of our title coming in there. So now we do the same exact thing with our subtitle. Now we'll grab the track key mat, bring that to our subtitle, and set that to you know video layer six, which is that color mat. And now come here, add a keyframe for position, move that keyframe forward in time, and we can have this go up. And make sure you click on reverse for the track key mat, so then it'll disappear. And then you can offset your subtitle and time and it'll come in just like that and we're using that thick line to reveal on our titles and we have a thin line there just for extra design so that's how you can reveal on titles just by using a very simple color mat instead of nesting and using mask this is a very efficient way to bring on your titles so now for our last technique i want to be able to properly composite our title on top of our background and of course this depends on the background you're using your background video uh, it might look good already or it might not so either way we're going to make this look good so first of all we'll grab all of our title elements we'll right click it and click on nest and we can call it title all and we'll clean up our timeline all right, awesome. All right, so now what we wanna do is take our background footage and duplicate it. We'll all click it and bring it up. And what we can do is right click this and click on nest and you can call it video cut, click okay. All right, so what we'll do is go into that clip and what we're gonna do is once again, grab our color mat. Any of them will work if you created several of them. And what we'll do is uncheck uniform scale and bring down the height to have a nice little gap there. And you know, that's fine. All right, awesome. And we'll come here to the beginning, add a keyframe for scale height and bring that keyframe forward in time and set the scale height down to zero. So we'll just get that, we'll right click the last keyframe, do ease in, right click the first one and do ease out. And that's nice. All right, so then we'll grab our video layer and we'll come here to the effects and we'll grab the track key mat, bring it to the video layer, set that to your color mat. So now we'll just get this, okay. Now we'll go back into our main sequence here. And now what we'll do is we'll grab our video cut layer and we can Come here to the video effects, go to color correction and grab a brightness and contrast. Bring that to our video cut and we can bring down the brightness by a little bit. So when this comes in, we'll have a darker shade here. And if you want, you could apply a drop shadow effect as well. 
and we can increase this and increase the softness by a little bit and then we can you know duplicate the drop shadow effect and just change the direction to the other side and this will give us a nice little cut right here on our video and that stands out really nice and if you want you can grab your title layer as well and we can add a keyframe for scale we can move forward in time and we can like you know scale down our title so now here's our full title animation here and that looks very nice and clean we're able to separate this from the background and have a very nice opener title animation for your video so that is our tutorial on creating a title opener right here inside of premiere pro hope you found it insightful and are able to implement these techniques into your future videos if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are below and always be creative